August 3rd, 2013. Hello again. I've been away for a couple of days, but I'm back again. I've just been reading about where people hide their cash in their homes and it got me thinking. If you really want to fuck up a burglar's night, I can think of a much better plan. It's all about getting your head in the zone. The zone, in this instance being Jigsaw, from the Saw movies. Apparently, the most common place to hide cash is in a sock drawer, so let's not make it too hard to find and shove your cash in there. Now, you'll need a pen and paper for the next bit, cause there's a list of stuff you're gonna need from your local DIY store. Here goes. 2 meters of reinforced 15 millimeter steel wire. 2 nail guns and 6 inch, no, 9 inch nails. 2 12 inch, galvanized steel 6 gauge strings. 1 15 millimeter thick plywood, 2 meter square. 1 roll of duct tape. 1 pair of steel toe cap boots. Orbital sander with coarse grade sandpaper. 15 liters of malt vinegar. 1 set of darts. Remember, it's all about the preparation, so, firstly, place the plywood against the wall opposite your dresser. Then, take the reinforced wire and strings and set up a rudimentary string loaded trap on the top drawer of your dresser attached to the preloaded nail guns, which should be placed 500 millimeters apart and preset to fire three nails each. That's the initial trap set. When you get in you will find a burglar pinned to the plywood by the nails writhing in agony and weak from excessive blood loss. This is when you make intense eye contact as you slip on your steel toe, cap boots and listen to the little shit whimper. Next, gag the fucker with a length of duct tape before standing back and preparing Johnny Wilkinson esque and kicking the fucker nice and hard between the legs. Man or woman, they will puke their fucking guts up and have no choice but to swallow the whole lot back down. Next, it's time for the orbital sander once you've stripped the fucker naked, of course. Generous amounts of skin can be taken off in no time and the pain made that little more intense by copious dousing of malt vinegar. When the fancy takes you, use the raw patches where you have sanded the skin to the flesh as targets and dust up on your dark skills. How long you keep this up for is entirely at your discretion, but when you are bored, just leave the fucker there to die slowly. They might get a little stinky and in summer you might have a bit of a flight problem, but if you can handle sharing your bedroom with a rotting corpse of a seething cunt, then it makes a highly effective deterrent for any future motherfuckers looking to do your gaff over.